Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, astrology, self-care, mental health. I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Today we've got an exciting video. I always, always, always love finding out about new fragrance houses, new brands, and trying the products and sharing them with you on my channel. It's one of my favorite things. I think that's one of the reasons why fragrance is so exciting is there's always new stuff happening, always new combinations. Your nose will never get bored in the fragrance world. So don't mind my dog's booty in the corner, but today's video is going to be a review and little chat about the fragrance house Michael Malul London. And Michael Malul is also the sponsor of today's video, so thank you so much for your generosity and for wanting to collaborate with me. Let's go ahead and dive in because you're gonna wanna know about some of these fragrances. So Michael Malul sent me two full-size fragrances from their line and I wanted to keep them I wanted to put them back in the boxes so that you could see how they come because it's a really minimal elegant and sort of natural vibe I really really like their aesthetic so I have one bottle of their fragrance 144 bloom and the other of 173 candy then they also sent me their discovery set which they have available for purchase online well not even for purchase all you have to do is pay for shipping and then you can receive their discovery set and try the fragrances for yourself so let's go ahead and just talk about my favorite 173 candy if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know i love gourmand you know i love sweet and feminine girly flirty fragrances i just love really really girly flirty fragrances sometimes sometimes you just want to put on something like a little hot pink silk mini dress and that is what 173 candy is to me it is a hot pink silk mini dress with some satin high heels that have a little strap around the ankle and maybe like an Ariana Grande long ponytail. This is what this fragrance is to me. The notes of this fragrance are sheer citrus, quince, jasmine, rose, freesia, amber, vanilla, musk, and moss wood. So, all right, let me just spray a little bit because I love it so much. This sprayer is so nice as well. It's so nice because it has all of those beautiful, sweet, warm notes, but it doesn't make me feel too young when I wear it. If you remember, um, I made a fragrance review on some of the Ariana Grande fragrances, and I don't remember if I mentioned, but I only kept um, one of those. I gave the rest of them away because I felt like they weren't me. I felt like they were a little young for my energy, and it was too bad because I liked them, but when I put them on, I didn't feel like me. And this is so different. When I wear this, I feel like me. A little bit of what this reminds me of is uh, MAC Creme de Nude, which I always talk about. This to me is an everyday fragrance. This could be worn in the daytime or at night. Also what I love about this is although it's very sweet and very girly, for me it's not headache inducing. It's not the type of floral that is screechy. It's not so sweet that it suggests uh, sex appeal. It's right there on the edge of being girly girl and flirty or being sexy. It's not a vulgar fragrance at all. It has a very coquettish energy without being vulgar. So if you wear a tiny bit of this and you were wearing it at work, it would still be appropriate. It's also appropriate to go to a nice dinner into a night dancing whenever we can do that again. But for me also, this is a fantastic date fragrance, especially first date fragrance because it has that vanilla in there, especially if you're going out with a guy you know, studies have shown that men respond very, very well to vanilla. So if you're choosing your fragrance based on what the person may like and you don't know their taste yet, you don't know much about them, going with a vanilla-based fragrance is a safe bet. It smells expensive. It smells elegant but not stuffy. It smells like a woman who pampers herself and takes herself seriously but not too seriously and is not afraid to let her hair down and to flirt and it just... It's very, it's the essence of flirtation, this fragrance. You know, it's not super sterile, but it's not an erotic, primal fragrance. It is just the energy of a person on a date 
that they're really happy to be on. You know, when you, you just feel some kind of connection and you feel all bubbly and excited, that's what this is. And I am definitely looking forward to wearing this on some dates coming up. Uh, so that's 173 Candy, that's definitely my favorite. And even with the name, I, I wondered when I saw it, would it smell like Prada candy? Does it smell anything like that? And actually, it sort of gives me a similar vibe, but Prada candy is heavier and a little bit more mature and a little bit more polarizing. Like, I feel like there are quite a few people that might be turned off by Prada candy, depending on your body chemistry. This is, again, it's a safe date fragrance to me because I can't imagine anybody being offended by this. And yet, you will smell absolutely delectable like a treat. So that is 173 Candy, that's definitely my favorite. Then the other full size bottle I have is 144 Bloom. And this one, the notes are black currant, pear, raspberry, apricot, rose, jasmine, lily, peony, amber, musk, and sandalwood. So this fragrance to me is optimistic and clean and cheery and youthful energy in a bottle. This is for my floral lovers. It's not a creamy floral, it's not a heavy floral, it doesn't have oud. The florals really take center stage in this one, which I think it makes sense. It's aptly named 144 Bloom. It is 100% floral. Now on the dry down, because there is sandalwood and amber and musk, there is a nice warm finish, but it's not, there's no vanilla, so it's not a gourmandy floral again it's not a creamy dessert floral it is straight up almost heady florals of all of all kinds and the fruit to me is what adds that optimistic note whenever i smell juicy fruit in a fragrance it smells like optimism i don't know exactly how to explain it but it does to me when i smelled this i thought okay what would i wear this to this would be like going to a strawberry festival or strawberry picking or if there's a it's reminding me of like a summer or a spring festival outdoor you know like you're in a little sundress at the watermelon eating contest and you're having some lemonade and you know maybe somebody cute is over there but you're here with your friends and you're all having a good time it's just it's just so cheery. To me this is definitely a daytime fragrance. This is very very playful it's very fresh. I can imagine this being something really wonderful to spray on right after the shower. For me, y'all know I love, again, I love gourmand and I love creamy and sweet and flirty. So candy is my favorite, but this is definitely such a solid one for my floral lovers. This reminds me of the sweet, optimistic person who's always there for everybody and who probably heads up some kind of book club or the PTA or the garden club, something like that. It's a, it's a younger fragrance than candy to me. This would even be great for uh, gifts for very, very young people, maybe like even 15 or 16. This would be a great option as, uh, you know, somebody's first or one of their first perfumes because it's just cheery and optimistic and bright. I keep saying that, but yeah, it just, has a beautiful, positive, sunny, sunshiny energy to it. Um, it's, it's really like, you know, the first warm day of spring in a bottle. I think they were dead on calling this 144 Bloom. And for me, yeah, this is the girl in the cotton sundress who just lives every day to the fullest and maybe is like a visco girl and is just sunny and positive and kind to everybody she meets. Also, for me, in spring and summer, I can imagine spraying this in my hair. I feel like it would make my hair smell so clean, and it would be the perfect way to wear this so that as the wind blows through my hair or as I turn, people get a little bit of a floral vibe going on. And I, it also just, it really does smell very, very clean to me. So... That. So then they sent me their discovery kit, as I mentioned, and it had, I don't know, 11 or 12 fragrances in there. And I was like so excited to start playing around with them. And it included a lot of their men's fragrances as well. As I always say, everything is unisex nowadays. We wear whatever we want. So I want to talk about a couple standout fragrances from their discovery kit. Whew, this one is good. This is Jet Black Platinum. And the first thing I thought when I first smelled this was spicy. Oh my gosh. Oh, there is just some 
intense sweetness to this that you do not find a lot in men's fragrances, but it's not a sweetness that seems out of place. It's not whipped cream sweetness. It is the sweetness of spice and of like leather. This is expensive, expensive elegant man with just a little bit of ruggedness, a little bit of like danger, but he's mostly elegant. I just love this. The notes of this are spicy notes, lavender, cinnamon, toffee, vanilla, suede, and amber. So it must be that toffee that I'm smelling that is giving that really unique sweet note. This would be absolutely addictive to smell on someone else. Oh my goodness. And on me, also irresistible. I cannot get enough of that sweet note. It truly makes me not want to pull away from this fragrance. The lavender in this, I think, gives it a clean element, so you don't smell too musky or, uh, or like, rugged, you know what I mean? It doesn't smell too manly man, it doesn't smell like men's deodorant, anything like that, because sometimes when things are too spicy, it just smells like men's deodorant to me. This is, oh my gosh, this is so good. This would be a really, really solid gift for a man. I think this would smell great on almost anybody. Sorry, sorry, my battery died. I had to move the camera around a little bit, but I really thought Jet Black Platinum was my favorite, and I think it is overall from the Discovery Kit, but right up there, especially right now because it's Christmas time, this is 511 Black Tie. Oh my goodness gracious. This is giving me all of the elegant Christmas party vibes that I am missing out on right now. I mean, how many elegant Christmas parties do I really go to normally in the holiday season? I don't know, but I'm missing socializing and I'm missing being out in beautiful places with beautiful people wearing beautiful gowns and, ta and suits. And this reminds me of a couple years ago, I came as somebody's guest to a, um, was it BMI? One of the music publishing groups put on this big holiday gala at the, uh, what hotel was it? It was a really, 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 it's one of the really, really fancy hotels in Beverly Hills. And I have never felt fancier. I mean, I dropped my car at Valet. I walk in, there's marble everywhere. There's a giant Christmas tree up to the ceiling. There are people standing around in gorgeous gowns sipping cocktails. There's a beautiful bar with old dark wood and I just make my way back to this ballroom and there are more Christmas trees everywhere I turn and ornaments and lights and just gorgeous people everywhere and it smells good and there's good food and there's holiday music playing, beautiful holiday jazz and that is what this is. So for me, I wouldn't wear this to that type of event. I would wear this in the daytime or maybe like going, going to a bar for a drink in my leather jacket. That's when I would wear this in the winter. But this is what I want to smell on the person who is my date to that gala. You know, when, when I get a little tired in the night and I'm like, do you want to go home? And I put my head on their shoulder and I nestle in there to show that I'm really tired and we should probably go home. This is what I smell. Because it also, I don't know if there's pine, it smells a little bit like Christmas trees, but not in a, a fake way or not in a air freshener type of way. This is gorgeous. So let me find out the notes because I, I really have not looked at the, the notes. I just know that I love this fragrance. Okay, so this is juniper berries, heliotrope, and musk. Okay, so it must be the juniper berry that's giving me that piney, woodsy, green, fresh scent. It's not resinous though, it's not anything like oud where it is like shavings of wood. But it smells like a fresh forest and this is, I guess it really is simple if it's just juniper, heliotrope, and musk. But it's absolutely addictive and this is the perfect sexy Christmas time scent. Could you ever, would you ever think that would exist? Sexy Christmas? I don't know. But if I were to direct a movie called Sexy Christmas, the lead would wear this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I can't believe this. It's so good. 
it's making me want to make the guy I'm dating put this on. And we haven't been like seeing each other for that long, so I don't want to be weird. But we are looking at Christmas lights this weekend, and this would just be the perfect fragrance to wear for that. I can just imagine in the cold air how good this would smell. It's it's elegant again, but it's not stuffy and it's really relaxed. It's really like, you know, someone who's well dressed and looks great in their tux, but also looks great in like a flannel and jeans kicking back at home or like whisking you away to a cabin. It's the elegant man or the elegant person with an outdoorsy streak who really sits back and just like lets you take center stage and is just low key so hot. So Michael Malul has generously given me a discount code to share with you guys that will give you 20% off of a fragrance. And that code is Gabriella20. So definitely use that if you've been curious about any of these fragrances. I definitely would recommend Jet Black Platinum, uh, the Black Tie 511, and 173 Candy. Those are my favorites. Obsessed. Oh my gosh. I just want to snuggle somebody. Anyway, yes, code Gabriella20 is going to get you 20% off of a fragrance purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Michael Malul review video. Let me know if you've tried any of their fragrances and tell me what you think, what your favorites are. Remember, you can get that discovery kit for free. You just pay for shipping on their website as well. I'm going to leave everything linked down below. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in my next one. Mwah! Bye, guys.